Hello bees! It's Wednesday, it's four o'clock, it's time for a live video. Okay, welcome. Today we are on space theme this week. So I hope you're all enjoying the pack. Uh, space theme is really exciting, it's one of my favourites. Um, so today we're going to be doing a bit of cooking. Not actual cooking, but in the cooking department. We are going to be making these fruit rockets. How cute and amazing is that? And healthy, because it's really important to get our five a day, isn't it? Of fruit and vegetables. So I'm making a fruit one, but you can make these out of vegetables as well. So it's whatever you've got in the house. So don't worry about going out to the shops and getting anything in. It's all that you've got in the house. So first of all, you're gonna need for this one, some skewers, but if you haven't got skewers, then you could do it on a, a large plate and just place it in the middle so you don't have to have the skewer necessary. Okay, so first of all, going to use some strawberries. I'm going to use some banana because this is what I've got in the house. I'm going to use some marshmallows in between. Ooh, and I've also got some kiwi. Hi Tracy! <laughs> Which means hello Ari, how are you? Um, so I've also got kiwi as well. So we're going to start by just, if you've got parents helping with this, that'd be good. I'm just going to cut the end off because I don't want anybody to get hurt because it can be a bit sharp, can't it, okay? So first of all, we're going to do the bottom of the rocket. So that's the um, fins, you can call them the fins, or it's also the fire bit at the bottom which launches the rocket up into the air, isn't it? So I'm going to make mine out of kiwi. So I'm going to get a knife. Uh, my hands are clean, so make sure yours are too. I'm using a serrated edge, edge knife because I think it cuts well, but you can just use a blunt knife if the children are using it themselves. It will cut just as well, especially with strawberries and banana because they don't need much sharpness. In the knife. So I'm going to make it into the fin shape. So to do that, I'm just going to do it into a bit of a triangle. So remember last video we said triangle has three sides and I remember it, tree, one, two, three. So there's my fin, can you see it? And I'm just going to slide that on to my oh, kebab stick. Oh, we've got a few people. Hi Becky. Hi Charlotte. Okay, this is a bit of a stubborn one. There we go. So we've got our fin on. The next step is we're going to do repeat pattern. So we've all done repeat patterns in learning to be. So the first one I'm going to do is a strawberry. So the strawberry's going to go on there, and this is the body of the rocket. Next, a banana. So I've cut my bananas nice and chunky, but you can cut yours smaller. It really does depend on how you want it. Make it your own. And then I'm going to put a marshmallow. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> then I'm going to put another strawberry. So I'm repeating the pattern, so I've gone strawberry, Banana, marshmallow, strawberry. This is where I'd ask my bees what goes next. Can anyone answer me on the writing, do you think? What goes next? Any of my bees? Anybody there? I think we're going to go for a banana. And then we're going to go again for the marshmallow. <laughs> And then it's the top of the rocket and this is the bit that makes the rocket go up in the air and it's got a, um, a point on it, a nose, which makes it go speedy, speedy through the air like lightning. And I'm going to put a nice big one on there. Ooh, a nice big strawberry. There we go. And I'm just going to push all of them up because it's not quite towards the end. I'm going to pop my kiwi back on. And there you have your rocket fruit kebab. So some ideas of different fruits that you could use for yours. Hi Chloe. Uh, some ideas for different fruits that you could use is grapes. If you're doing a vegetable one, you could use tomato. Uh, what else could you use? You could use celery, you could cut cucumber, different things like that. But I just wanna see you doing those repeat patterns throughout, okay? So now it's time to put them on my plate and I'm going to keep these 
for later on to have for my dessert. So you could have yours as a little snack throughout the day, as a dessert after lunch or for your tea. Okay, can you see them? I've got two rockets ready to be launched. So there we have it. So I want you to send me some of your pictures of um, rockets that you've made. I can't wait to see them. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.